Now, backups are a very, very critical and important function which are necessary to make sure that all the critical information which is in the computing uh, facilities is available to acquire to, to, um, to, so that we can have access to it either so if one server has gone down, you would simply go to the backup and pick up a backup and install it at the primary site. Or then, if there is a complete failure of the primary data center, then you may need the backups to activate um, at the DR site, for example. So there are a lot of backup considerations. What to backup? What is the location? What is the frequency? Who is going to do it? Uh, who is going to verify the backup has been done? What is the test and security, the testing and security method, how are we going to perform the security functions, and then what technology and tools will be used for the backup. So what to backup? Um, obviously, there's the network configuration files from routers, switches, network devices, the operating system backups from the, from the systems and the servers, um, the data, the application uh, images uh, would all need to be backed up. Uh, the database and application data and other critical informa information, um, which is perhaps user information, um, uh, management information, critical uh, intellectual property of the organization, all needs to be backed up. For location, um, you may back up on site at the primary site um, because you would have you know, high speed access and it's the same uh, network. So you for on you know it would be done on site for faster recovery. You would take it you would take the backups off site for disaster recovery purposes, or in order to make sure that there is redundant um, redundancy or site or geographical redundancy. So then you would do a backup at an alternate location because if if the primary location goes down, the backups will be lost also. So you would, you know obviously we save backups at a secondary site and and then at the DR site, possibly as we saw in the case study. And um, uh, as I mentioned, an intermediate site uh, would also store backups um, as a middle ground. So, so frequency is very important. How often do you backup? It depends entirely on the criticality of the data, the type of the organization, what its business is, um, what is the nature of information being backed up, how frequently does that information change, and what amount of storage space and storage technology um, are we using? And what is the overall backup plan and backup strategy? Now, the backup operator and checker are two roles that are performed. The backups should ideally be automated, but they would still be uh, monitored by a backup operator, a shift operator, perhaps. You know, and a person in IT operations who makes sure that the scheduled backups are all done and then looks and checks uh, the dashboard and makes sure that they are done. And sometimes there may be manual intervention required, and some systems actually require manual backups because of the nature of the systems. So operators should ensure that backups have taken place, and then someone should verify. So this is the maker-checker um, convention that we use in security. Someone is the maker or the doer, and then someone has to check it. A verifier should sign off that the check has been made. Backup testing and security considerations are as follows. The backup testing should be performed uh, so you actually test that the backup has been stored and will run, and you actually restore the backup on a server, and, and that proves that the backup was accurate and it's still working. So the backup testing should be performed on a periodic basis and greater than the frequency of the DR drill. So if you're doing your DR drill once a quarter, once in three months, then you should do backup testing, let's say once every three months. And also, as security considerations, we have the encryption um, of the backup data and the compression. Compression so that there's less space consumed by the backup, and encryption so that we can make sure that the confidentiality of the data is maintained. And um, it's, it's one of the big, weak, you know, one of the uh, common weaknesses that the primary site security data is encrypted. The data on the, um, uh, you know, in, on the backup site location would perhaps not be encrypted and it's easy to um, you know, acquire or to maliciously um, gain access to the, uh, to the backup data and many times to test it also. So backup tools and technology, uh, you could use a NAS 
Um, uh, you could use a, a, a SAN, a storage area network. You could use SCSI, IDE, and SATA drive. So there are different types of technology used for backup, uh, um, backup, storing backups, and various tools and technology to perform the full backups, differential backups, and incremental backups. These are three types of backups. And then you have encryption, which would be performed um, on the backup. You would have access control, which is very important. Um, and then you have uh, alerts and reporting so that you can make sure that the backups are being performed and there's a mechanism to make sure that the backups have all been done. Thank you.